Hello and thank you for joining. Today we're actually going to look at a dynamic package. A dynamic package is essentially three, four, or more than one dynamic schedule wrapped up into one going into the same destination. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at two different types of dynamic packages. So first, we'll start a dynamic package, and then we'll start a wizard like normal. We'll name the package, and then we'll describe it. Then we'll add their keywords, then click Next. We determine our destination like always. And then now is our time to actually add the reports that we need. A dynamic package works very similar to that of a regular package. You can simply just add a report that you need. and simply select it as normal. Now here's where the difference comes in. We're going to determine the format of our report. Then we'll decide our parameters. In this case we're going to do things the simple way and we're going to use a static parameter value. Then we select our naming. We'll name the file whatever we want. And then report options and exception handling as usual. Once we're happy with the report that we're exporting, we select OK. And this report will show up on the list. Keep doing that for all the reports you want to add. Say, for example, you want to run it for multiple static reports. Simply just add another report. You can add the same RPT file and simply select a different parameter value. Moreover, you can also merge multiple file outputs into a single PDF or Excel file. This makes it easier to run. Instead of dealing with several different attachments, each report being its own attachment, these options here enable you to merge it all into one single document, making it easier to use. Next, we need to select the key parameter value. In the case of a dynamic package, the key parameter has to, will apply, the, what the option you select here will apply to every single report you have in the package. So there has to be some sort of commonality between their distribution. In my case, it's virtually the same report. So we'll select company name. We have the decision to whether A, populate the key parameter with static data, or populate it from using a database query. I'm going to first show you how to populate it with static data. When you populate it with static data, you're simply selecting the particular parameter value that you want all the reports to share and run for. Then you click Next. Next, we need to determine the static, we can determine whether we want this to go to a static destination or whether we're going to dynamically populate this. In our case, we want to send this off to a changing list of recipients, so we'll do it against the database. Simply connect to your database and as per the rest of the, uh, the Simply connect to your database, select the table in the column that holds your key parameter value, 
and then the corresponding email address, just like you would in a typical dynamic schedule. Next, set up your emailing. Just like in a normal in a normal schedule, you can simply uh, there's no need for the to field as it's already been set up when you're setting up your destination and your linking. And if you want more information on dynamic inserts, feel free to check out the primary uh, dynamic schedules tutorial. Click OK. You go through exception handling as usual and be able to commit any other task at the back of this package. Once you're finished, you click finish and you'll see that my package is there. If I want to, I can right click on it, review the properties to edit it like any other schedule, disable the schedule, execute it on demand. I can even add an additional report to it if I need to if a new report ends up in the queue. Well that's it for the basic version of the package. Thank you very much for joining.